Hey gang, welcome back to Minute Watch. Kurt here, and today has been a very gloomy day here on Maui, Hawaii. And uh, it's been it's been pretty rainy like this for the past three or four days straight, and it's just kind of miserable, but uh, nice at the same time. You know, silver lining. There's gonna be mushrooms popping up all over the place. And I wanted to go do the cinematic video for the Samurai as well as the Straps video for the SNK E51. But, um, <laughs> well, I'm uh, not going to do that in the rain. So here we are. I'm just going to make this video and, uh, you know, it's going to be kind of cool. So here we are. We're just going to get the things rolling along quickly here. And you're going to need a whole bunch of stuff. You're going to need a case back removal tool. I've already pre-loosened this. You're going to need the crystal. A uh, couple of, uh, of pieces of a... Uh, uh, crystal press, the crystal press over there in the background, a squishy squishy blower, a, a case holder which is really nice to have um, some other knickknacks but uh, let's just get real close up in this uh, watch here. There is a scratch if you watch my videos in the previous videos you will notice that there is a scratch as a chip on the top of the right by the, the 12 o'clock on the right side of 12 o'clock and then there's a scratch there over right here you see that scratch there you go there's a nice picture of that scratch so that bugs the crap out of me I I scraped up the wall when I was walking past this concrete wall this jaggedy concrete wall and uh, let's just get to it so and uh, like I said I've already pre loosened this thing so I won't need the case back removal tool but it does come in handy highly recommend it and we'll just move all these things away here and uh, let's get going so First things first, we're gonna check out the movement, and uh, I'm gonna pause real quick. Okay, so the first things first, we're gonna we're gonna remove the movement here, and then I'm gonna put the movement on this little watch sofa, keep it nice and safe, and then I just wanna stick a cup over to prevent dust from getting all over the the uh, dial. So you're gonna be you're gonna to wanna to be real careful with these pieces, guys. Um, a lot of my first videos where I start taking apart uh, watches and removing the case backs and then taking out the movement or just really just wow cringy you know and this one will probably be the same it's probably the same I'm probably gonna be like just as crap as I usually am at doing this but somehow everything manages to be okay and all my watches appear to be fine and in good working order when I when I do them <laughs> so let me just uh, zoom in here real real quick this is something that I haven't been able to do before because my other camera wasn't that good so you're gonna wanna push out that uh, crown first but then you're gonna well, first you want to push on this little lever right here right there I don't know if you can see it I'm looking at the watch not the camera you're gonna depress this down right here like so much like so much wait is it wait, what like so much butter right, did I get it and then pull out the crown there you go crown comes right out nice and easy like that bingo I'm gonna zoom out a little bit there okay and now I'm just gonna kind of use this uh, spring bar tool to just loosen up the movement here and uh, it, it does not just come right out guys it's it's kind of snug in there so we're just gonna uh, the gasket is Lucy McLooser this, sh this should actually go around the the, uh, the case back to there carefully remove that don't want to touch it too much let's put that off to the side here and then uh, just kind of gently gently tug away at the plasticky bits here just get it all nice and all nice and out there find nice little spots that won't cause any drama and uh, we can pull the moving out very quickly some people would like to just slam it out but I'm not one of those people I like to be a little bit more I like to finesse them a little bit more so you just do that and it should come right out there you go just so easy and then I put a cup over it and then uh, keep go good so there you go and uh, I already have the pre selected dies for the case and I'm gonna put the case upside down on one of these but first I'm gonna put a piece of cloth over it because you know you don't want to scratch your case up so put a piece of cloth over it and get the crystal press and then just real quick giggity out crystal is out bada boom bada bing so easy and then throw that thing away and then put flip over the case is the gasket still in there is it good you want to inspect the gasket is it still in there is it still good mine appears to be okay this is a brand new watch and open up 
the new crystal. Now, you're gonna wanna not touch it with your bare fingers because it'll get all kinds of messed up. There's all kinds of crap on it. So get yourself some gloves, some some uh, latex gloves, <laughs> like these. Um, the crystals usually come with uh, little finger rubbers, you know, finger condoms, but I've, I haven't lost them all or have used them all. So I'll use these, these uh, actually these are nit nitro, nitro, nitro gloves from, uh, from Costco. You can buy like a hundred thousand of them for 15 bucks. So real good deal. And I just pulled the crystal out here. This is a purple coated, a purple AR coated double dome crystal from Crystal Times Serology. This is the low dome for the SNKs. I'm just gonna place it on nice and nice and flat there. And this is actually a really easy crystal to put in. So I'm just gonna kind of smash it in there already and uh, just, just get her started. And then uh, put the little Put the little, uh, your little, your little uh, watch woogie, your little watch pinky, on the thing, and then uh, I, I'm gonna actually get a bigger die here because this one's kind of small. This one won't work so good for this crystal. You want it to be kind of around the edges when you. Uh, oh my gosh! <laughs> when you press it down, so. All right, this one should do it. Yeah, that's uh, maybe this side. Yeah, that one's good. And uh, I haven't done this in a while, guys. I haven't done any crystal swaps or, or mods or anything in a while. But more are coming, I assure you. More are coming. Um, yeah. How do, how do we get this thing on here? Oh, yeah. Screw it on. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. Okay, so just put that thing under the crystal. And I'm just, I'm going to get some better better uh, leverage here and just press down just kind of press it down yeah let's give it a good good old press uh, and then uh, then you check it Ooh. I'm actually sweating making this video I went to the gym today guys oh, well let me just uh, while I check this let me tell you a story so I've been going to the gym a lot uh, been trying to get swole not too much. I don't want to get turned into a little big monster, you know. I'm I'm short, so if I get too big, I'm gonna look like Gimli, uh, you know, just short and wide, five feet tall, five feet wide, you know. I don't want to be like that, but I just want to get cut up, you know. I want to look good. So, been going to the gym, having a great time, meeting all kinds of people. It's been really fun, and uh, yeah, I may have somehow damaged my case here. Seriously, how did that happen? Anyway, we'll, we'll discuss that later. But it looks like I've, I've done it, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put it all back together and stick it in some water. All right, we're gonna, it's all back together. Crown's back on, gaskets are all back on. We're just gonna stick it in some water, and then we'll let that sit for a little while, uh, about uh, 10 minutes, and then um, I'll be back. All right, guys, I got carried away. It's been about half an hour. I thought it was going to be five minutes, but it's been about half an hour because I started looking at the Instagram and all that stuff. Let's dry this off here. Let's put the water away. I'm just going to dry this off here real quick. Get this stuff out of the way here. Straps. I need I need a quick release strap for my camera. Barton, you watching? Quick release camera straps, bro. <laughs> okay. Let's get it nice and dry. All right, nope, there doesn't seem to be any water inside of the case. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to just make sure it's all clean on the inside. I'm gonna blow some air in there and make sure it's all clean. And then we're gonna put the movement back in and then we're going to, uh, ooh, 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 that's my face. Ooh, I look all creepy. And then we're gonna put the movement back in, we're gonna put a strap on and, uh, and then we're going to be back. All right, guys, here's the final product. There we go. And would you look at that? That is nice. I don't know if you can see the difference, but it does give a little bit more of a classy look and it makes the dial pop a lot more. Let's just uh, zoom in a bit here. 34 millimeters. Yeah, just look at that. Woo, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. So no more scratches. Everything appears to be super clean. And um, 
I will definitely do some some cinematic shots after this. But uh, yeah, overall happy with the results. But the, there is that little nick right there in the case, which really bums me out because I was going to use this case for a mod because it is a 38 millimeter case. I was going to make a Bird of Paradise mod and sell it, <clears throat> but now I can't because it's it's damaged. But super nice. Really, really like the crystal. You can't really see the purple AR coating in it, but I will take some end shots. But it is just nice and clean. Okay, that's this video, and thanks for watching. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, you're not gonna put me in the video? You're not gonna you're not gonna put me in the video? You're just gonna edit? Huh? You're just gonna edit like that? Uncle JB, no offense, but you kinda just like get on aggro all the time and you say you say things like uh like oh this watch is crap this watch is crap. What are you what are you Sylvester Stallone? What are you what are you rap bro? Oh, come on. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be good, I'm gonna be good, I'm gonna say some positive stuff, I'm gonna be positive, I'm gonna be positive. Uh, all right then. So, what do you think about this uh, this this crystal that I put on this Seiko Five? It's crap. <laughs> oh gosh.